my name is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel Handbags and Happiness where I share good information on handbags and related things to help you buy what makes you happy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So for today's video we have some luxury candle unboxings. I have never purchased luxury candles before. I love, love, love candles but I always purchase candles from Bath and Body Works. But there's a reason why I'm dibbling and dabbling into luxury candles. The first reason is because I stock up on Bath and Body Works candles usually on candle days. And the last candle day was during the holidays and it was absolutely horrible. I waited in line, well I waited to get them online and I couldn't get any candles online so I went to two Bath and Body Works stores and I couldn't get any of the scents that I normally get. Like they had some like some scents, flavors, however you want to call them, but they were all like these off the wall scents I had never heard of, like strawberry lemonade with a uh, Caribbean punch. And I was just like, I've never heard of it. Like I like the lavender vanilla, I like the roses, I like the eucalyptus spearmint, I like the sweet pea. I'm like core bath and body work scents. And then I do like the seasonal ones, but I like the regular ones and they didn't have any of those on sale. At least they didn't have them in the store online. And I didn't like the fact that, you know, the way they handled the candle specials lately has been kind of on the shady side. There haven't been any coupons, not many sales. And I understand it's a pandemic, so maybe they can't have as many sales, but I just am not prepared to pay a certain amount for a Bath and Body Work candle. And I don't even know if I'm willing to pay or continue paying the price of luxury candles that's why I'm going to try them out and if they're worth the price then I'll stick with them if not I sorry that's my teacup chihuahua lady and I guess she's not happy that I'm talking so loud <laughs> give me one second okay I'm back and ladies now quiet so I don't know if I'm going to continue using or buying luxury candles, but I wanted to give them a try because I didn't get the stock of like I wanted to on my Bath and Body Works. And the second reason is I am absolutely in love with the Maya Lux. Our, she has two channels now. One is a Maya at Home and then a Maya Lux. I like both channels. She discusses luxury, um, home fragrance, home decor. I love all her home decor stuff because I recently purchased a new home. Well, it's almost been two years now, but it's still new to me. And it was my first home and I love having good smelling fragrances. Nobody's coming to my house right now, but when people start coming to my house, I want it to smell good. And I want it to smell good for me. When I walk into my front door, I like to have a welcoming scent. So I've done enough talking. Let's get into the unboxing. And the first brand, I have three brands to try today. And the first one we're going to talk about is the Dip Tea Candle. This candle has a net weight of 6.5 ounces or 190 grams. It came wrapped in this white box with the clear cellophane paper wrapped around it. So let's just open it up. And I did get all these candles from Nordstrom's. I know you can order them. Oh my gosh. So just taking off the plastic, as soon as I took it off, I smelled this beautiful aroma. It just, I just took it in, it was really nice. I can already smell this candle through this box. Now, I couldn't smell it when the plastic was on it, but I can smell it now. But I was saying before I was knocked out by the beautiful scent, I purchased all these candles from Nordstrom's. I know you can purchase them from the individual places, but I kind of just wanted to get them, try them, and get them all from one place. You open it up. Okay, so I open it up, and it has this little card on top. It says, choose a candle, then another, enjoying pairing them and instantly revealing an old factory landscape reinvented with each new combination. It says, burn berries. I don't know why, I guess I call this blaze, but I don't know. Okay, so it's called berries with ro and roses together to create a fragrance of a romantic garden. And it goes on and describes the romantic garden. Okay, so these are like terrible. And then this is, I guess a little care booklet. Where is the English? Oh, care booklet and instructions. So that's nice. I never got a candle with instructions before.
here's the candle. And just off the bat, taking it out the box, the throw of this candle is extremely strong. I smell it, I don't need to burn it. I smell it right away. It doesn't smell like berries to me, but it smells very good. I think this is Diptyque's signature scent, so I am looking forward to burning it, trying it out, and maybe doing another subsequent video letting you know whether I think they are worth it. I don't know if I'll do a subsequent video, but if you if I don't do a subsequent video, like I said, go over to Amaya Lux channel. She does amazing videos. I'm not an expert in home fragrances, but she is definitely an expert in candles, home fragrances, and perfumes. I'm just trying this out and giving you my first impressions. Before I move on, I will say, aside from the fragrance, my initial impression of the candle is that it is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be for the price. And it just has a little sticker on it and it's a glass, a clear glass, votive type candle holder. And this is the full size, this isn't the votive size, but like it's in the votive shape. And it has a sticker on the bottom, but it's just plain white, it's nothing spectacular. It didn't come with a lid or anything, but I think you can buy those separate. It smells great, just smelling it, but I think if you walk by this candle in your home and it wasn't burning, you could smell it, but the packaging is just not all that great. It doesn't have that wow factor. Okay, the second candle we're gonna try out is from Ness. And it's, I got this candle and it actually came with a free gift. So I'm gonna open both of them for you. It came with the diffuser which in the grapefruit, which is their signature scent. I did pick up the Ness in the signature scent because I wanted to try it in another. I really like lavender. And I didn't see a Diptyque Lavender candle, but I did see Ness had one and it had pretty good reviews on the website. So I wanted to try it in Lavender. Lavender is my favorite scent. But before we look, open the candle, let's just open the free gift. And out of the three, the Ness was I think the least expensive. So the fact that it came with a um, free gift is even better. up and it came like this and it is a diffuser and like I said it's in the scent grapefruit and you get the reeds to go with the diffuser you get this is six reeds and this is really fresh I can smell it through the packaging without opening it I will say the grapefruit is very fresh this would be something I would love to have in my when you walk into my home in the summertime or the springtime walk it's very clean you smell the fruit of the grapefruit, but it has like a clean scent, almost not like washing your clothes, but if you know you wanted, to, you went into a place and it had just been like sanitized, but it had a freshness to it. So I appreciate the free gift. Now to the candle. So this candle has a net weight of 8.1 ounces, so it is larger than the Diptyque. And like I said, it was priced a little bit cheaper. I think this would have been. I think the Diptyque was like. 60 something and this was probably in the 40s and this is the standard size so as soon as I open the box the lavender smell did hit me even though this is cedar leaf and lavender you definitely smell the lavender mm. it's not as strong as the dip tea candle is it is a little bit bigger it has like the lines on it just like the um the grapefruit Diffuser had lines, this one has lines too. It's really nice. It says Nest on it right here. It's not a strong out of the box smell. I smelled it out of the box, but not like I smelled the Diptyque candle. This one I'll definitely have to burn and see if it's worth it. Like I said, it had great reviews, so I'm excited. Here's the bot bottom. And just by comparison, for size wise, This is the Diptyque right here. Turn it this way. And then this is the Nest. So the Nest, like I said, it's a little bit bigger, as you can see. Okay, the third and final candle I got was from the great brand of Joe Malump. The third and final candle I got is from the beautiful brand Joe Malone. 
the Jo Malone came packaged in a box. It also had a ribbon on it, but it had fell off in the in shipping. But it's a beautiful cream ribbon. And let's open her up. So clearly Jo Malone wins for packaging. You have your black tissue paper. It came with a box. And Jo Malone candle came with actually a top, which is one that I love about Bath and Body Works candles that they now, back in the day they didn't, you just got the candle. But now Bath and Body Works candles all come with a lid, which I love. So I got the Jo Malone candle in the fragrance roses. For Valentine's Day, I got the rose diffuser with my name engraved. I will insert a picture here. I absolutely loved it. It is a beautiful scent. So I decided to pick up the Jo Malone Red Roses candle. And it says bougie perfume on it too. So I guess all these candles are bougie. I hope that doesn't mean I'm bougie. <laughs> but here is the top of it with the beautiful ribbon in black. This candle is sealed. And here's the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and break the seal. Seal just as peel here. Oh wow. So out of the three, I don't smell this one opening up. I wanna I have to like literally take it to my nose to smell it, but I don't smell it. And the wick is kind of short on this one compared to the others. And when I smell it, it definitely smells like red roses. So here are all three candles together. The Diptyque is the smallest, followed by the Jo Malone, and then the Nest Candle is the largest. I would say, at a, for smell-wise, the Diptyque had the biggest throw, open it up. The Lavender had a strong throw, but Lavender typically has a very strong throw to it. And then, followed by the roses, Red, red Roses from Jo Malone. Packaging-wise, obviously, Jo Malone is the best. It came with the box, the ribbon, the lid followed by Nest and then Diptyque. I thought Diptyque was the least nice in packaging, but I did like the fact that it came with a care booklet and also like a pairing suggestion. And I think all these candles are meant to be paired with other candles in their brand, but I like how the instructions were given for the Diptyque candle. Um, right off the bat, you know, my preference would be probably without burning it, even though it's the smallest of dip tea, I'm the smell of this candle just out of the box and just I can smell it now right here all through them together. It's overpowering the other two. I would say if you're looking for something strong, the dip tea. If you're looking for something fresh, then the Jo Malone Red Roses. If you're looking for something that's like homey, will set the mood, put you to sleep, obviously lavender does that. I'm so excited about all of these candles and to try them out here in my home. And I will give you an update either on a video or Instagram about how they're going. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye.